as you guys seen, uh, we got to Carl's new seating and there's already a group of pigeons out here. Got the mojo set up and uh, there are the Sorno More decoys and I got the mojo set up with them right over this little knob from me. I'm just sitting in a chair, literally in the field. Got brown pants on to try to blend in a little bit, but I don't think these pigeons are too smart, so we're just gonna sit here and it's too hot to sit in the layout. I just uh, have the decoys right over that little knob. It's uh, a little after three o'clock. It's supposed to rain today around 5 o'clock, so I went and spread a little bit of, uh, of uh, fertilizer on the food plots. So hopefully it rains this afternoon and takes that nitrogen right into the soil for those plants. But in the meantime, we're just going to sit here for an hour or so and see if we can't shoot a pigeon. There's a really cool brown one in that group that was here already. So I'd love to shoot that pigeon if it comes around, but we'll see. I'll Turn the GoPro on when pigeons start flying here. Okay, we got our first pigeon down. Uh, it's 3.50. Finally had a group come and only two of them dropped in and even when they dropped in they're still pretty far or pretty long way away i was able to get one of them the other ones went by me here so let's go grab the one that i killed you can see it's getting pretty dark north of us hopefully uh we're still gonna get some rain here See how far away this pigeon was. There's the decoys, and there's where I was sitting. Fell a long ways away. But we got it. Big old pigeon. Pretty bugger. Oh. course right when I went to pick up that pigeon I had a group come in and they had seen me and already pretty much bailed out and I figured well might as well try so I shot a bunch of times and never got any of them but in that figure I waited a few minutes to go get that pigeon to see if any more were coming and none came a few minutes after I shot it so I went and shot it and or I went and got it and the pigeons came just my luck Well, I had another group come in and I was able to get uh, one out of that group which is laying right there and then I had a pair come in and I got both of them one down right there and the other one went down right in the driveway over there I shot this one and then had to swing all the way around and I was able to get that other one too so it's picking up I won't don't really want to go after these pigeons though because as soon as I get up more pigeons will probably come so we're just going to sit tight and see if we can't shoot some more. I haven't seen that brown one or that white winged one yet so maybe those are still to come. There's that white wing sucker. Hopefully he comes over here. Some tough 
front and they banked way around and went to the power line. And then uh, a few of the pigeons broke off that power line and were coming back over me. And there's this huge 25 mile an hour wind gust coming straight from the uh, southwest. And that pigeon was riding that. And I shot, missed it the first time, of course. I had to lead it by like six feet and killed it finally. But that pigeon was moving. You can see the storm is just uh, north of us right now. Sherman's probably getting it right now. Sherman and Mayville area, hoping that we're gonna get a, a good good amount of it here in a little bit as well. Hopefully it moves over us. We need some rain bad. We'll uh, see if any more pigeons wanna play. been here for about an hour and 15 minutes now and I keep seeing that big group flying around over there in between uh, a couple silos and every once in a while I get a trickler off that group like I just had a single come in and shot it right here over the decoys it took me two shots but we got them if, uh, I mean it's not a bad deal if they keep trickling in here looks like there's uh, oh no it's a hawk up these pigeons that I got down here quick. There's the one I just shot. few more down here my box flew away on me with this wind picked that up on my way back by another nice one oh here's those pigeons we'll just stay down here and see if they come We didn't make it back before more pigeons came. But we got this big one. I'll tell you what, with it being this windy, uh, you better make the first shot count. Like on that last one, when I was out there picking up that pigeon, I had that group of four come, and uh, I let it rip at that first one, and uh, there's such a hard, a stiff wind going away from us, all that, all they have to do is uh, turn and they're gone. I mean, super fast. So you gotta make sure that first shot you're uh, connecting because once they open their wings and take off, see you bye. It's starting to cool down from the storm. It's just north of us right now. Hopefully comes this, oh, here's pigeons. I just saw a pigeon somewhere. there. Well, if they all did that, we'd be in business. I like that one, just kind of floating over the decoys like that. Well, it's starting to sprinkle, so I think uh, we're gonna call it quits here on our pigeon hunt. We'll go pick up these dead pigeons we have. There's certainly a lot more to be killed, but that was fun.
see how many that we end up with here. Pigeon spread must have looked pretty good to them because they're coming into it with me just sitting in a chair about 25 yards away. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think we have we have a pigeon laying down there on the edge of the field, so I think we ended up with nine. Nine pigeons. Good deal, it was a lot of fun. We'll go get the gator and get things picked up and I'll show you what we got at the end. Well, we uh, had to do a little rapid clean up there. It started coming down pretty good, so I just threw everything into the back of the gator and got out of there. So uh, there's the eight pigeons we killed over the decoys. There is another pigeon that was over in the side of the brush there, but with it starting to rain so bad, I decided just to get out of there before I got too wet. But I still got pretty wet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and breast these buggers out and uh, we're gonna cook them up. A lot of people ask what these pigeons taste like. They're really pretty good. I mean, all they eat is grain for the most part. Granted, a lot of the grain they eat is picked out of cow shit, but that just makes it uh, a little, little more flavorful. So we'll go ahead and breast these out and cook them up for you. I figure uh, a lot of, I'll get a lot of questions on how I brush these pigeons out. I'll show you exactly what I do here. So I just turn them facing me and I split some of the feathers to get to their skin a little bit. And then I make a slice. So it goes through that first layer and I stick my fingers in there and I just pretty much open it right up so you got got the breast of the pigeon right out in the open now just like that these feathers can be kind of a pain and then you take your uh, knife and just run right down the center there and then just kind of carve it open around like that and just like that you've got a nice little pigeon breast just like that and then you stick it right in your bowl with your other ones so it's pretty easy then you go on the other side Carve it right down. Just like that. And pull all your feathers off. Just like that. Boy, it's really, really coming down out there now.
Okay, just like that, we turned all those pigeons into yummy little chunks of pigeon breasts. I'll show you how we cook those and how we eat them. Well, I bet you already know how we eat them. We put them in our mouth and chew them up, but we'll show you the process. Okay, so we got the pigeon breasts in the house, and the next step, I'm going to clean each piece, make sure there's no feathers, BBs, uh, if there's a little bit of fat on it, I'll take that fat off. So that's the next step, just cleaning the uh, chunks of breast stuff. Okay, so we got our uh, pigeon breasts all cleaned up. Now we're gonna uh, chop them into smaller pieces here. I would say just uh, bite-sized pieces is what I would do, so probably just cut them right in half here. Okay, so the next step is making our batter. We're gonna go with three eggs. And then we're gonna go with a little milk. And then we're gonna whisk that all up. A little salt. Then a little pepper. Stood up. Then we're gonna dump all of our pigeon chunks right in there. Just like that. And we're gonna mix all those up. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, put your bowl of uh, pigeon breast right here. And then you're going to want an empty bowl for your breading. Then we got some uh, vegetable oil here. And we're going to put in enough to cover the whole base of that pretty much. And then we're going to go ahead and turn that on and get it up to temperature. I don't know the exact temperature. You're just going to want to make sure that's hot. And uh, for breading, we're going to use some chicken breading, uh, which is, I know this stuff is super good. And this is what I do with, uh, I make uh, turkey breasts the same way here. So we'll go ahead and put some of this in this bowl. Just like that. And then we'll add some if we need to. But you'll just take each chunk out of there to roll it around the breading into the oil and uh, you'll go ahead and fry that until it's golden brown on each side 
and you'll have the tastiest little pigeon breast you ever had. So once that heats up, I'll show you the process of putting it into there. Okay, so I think our oil is up to temperature, and uh, now we're just going to take a chunk out of there, put it into the breading, just like that. Make sure it's good and covered up. And then it goes right in there. This would be easier to do with my fingers, I think. Okay, there's our first patch of batch of pigeon breasts in there right now. Just frying away. You can see some of them are uh, still wanting to bleed a little bit. It was only uh, less than a, two hours ago that they're right outside there down the road flying around. So this is a fresh, fresh dinner right here. Okay, we'll go ahead and flip them over. Try to here. Okay, now we'll do this la these last few and then we got dinner. Right there is the final product. You can eat them with uh, ranch, ketchup, even, sauce. even uh, mustard if you want or barbecue sauce, whatever sauce you want. They taste good. Uh, that's only eight pigeons right there, and that uh, made a whole plate full of full of food. So they smell good, they taste good. That's all you need is a few a few uh, pigeons on the neighbor's silo, and you have dinner. There it is, folks. Right, Kaylee? That's right. Kaylee loves pigeon. Not as much as I do, though. Let's go ahead and eat up. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll have lots more videos coming shortly. Take it easy.